So, I think the Slava is good now. Which is weird to say out loud. <laughs> I've had the Slava since essentially it released, uh, like a few weeks afterwards. And uh, ever since it came out, I've never considered Slava to be a good ship at all. I thought it was actually a very mediocre tier 10 battleship. And whenever I would get asked the question to get the two research bureau ships, Slava or Ohio, I would always tell people, get the Ohio. Uh, the reasons for that is just that the Slava, it lacked a lot of what made a battleship a battleship. And it could really only ever be a sniper rifle. Uh, it had very poor armor protection. 25 millimeter nose and... Uh, stern allows it to get overmatched by basically every battleship it fights. Uh, on top of that, doesn't have uh, any improved healing. In fact, it has one less heal at three standard instead of four. And they're not special, they're just standard battleship heals. The damage control isn't special either. And it has no other consumables. It doesn't have a particularly high amount of shells. It only throws out nine. And those shells have very poor alpha. It's just around 12,000. AA is good. But maneuverability was quite poor. Rudder shift is decent, it's like 16 seconds. But turning circle is almost 1,100 meters. So, I don't know. I found that the Slava was a ship that could hit really, really good shots if you were fighting really bad enemies. And you needed bad enemies constantly in order to make the ship work. But ever since patch 10.0 came out, I have been playing around a ton of different ships. And on my stream yesterday, I played a Slava game, and in fact, you're actually watching this Slava game right now, and it kind of changed my mind, so I played several more Slava games, and every game I played in Slava, I topped the team on XP, and I was doing rather well in all of them. I only had one bad game, and that bad game was a win in which I was the top scoring XP on my team, so I guess it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I think the biggest thing that has changed to the Slava is the meta. <laughs> See, Slava can't tank shells when people get close to it, because it just gets overmatched. And it can't overmatch cruisers at its tier, and unless they're light cruisers, but all the heavy cruisers are safe. So it needs broadsides to work with. The problem was is that you really only got those great sniping opportunities in the first five minutes of the game, and then usually... Uh, the game would progress more towards people getting into the positions they wanted. Around islands, maybe up close to you. To where the Slava just really didn't work as well as it needed to. And that's why I always thought it was mediocre. However, a Deadeye meta has changed <laughs> World of Warships quite considerably. And I think what I'm realizing is, is that when everybody is trying to snipe, they are playing the Slava's game. And the Slava is the king. <laughs> See, when you have the ability to Citadel any battleship at your range, no matter what range you're at, all the way out to that 24.7 kilometers, if they give you broadside, you can hurt them. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty powerful. Especially with uh, the fact that, well, other battleships, unless it's maybe a Shikishima, they're not going to be able to Citadel you back. So... I completely 180'd my opinion on the Slava with one patch. And I'm not really sure that's a good thing. Uh, for one, Slava's Research Bureau. I hate the Research Bureau. I think force regrinds in order to get a ship is a very bad thing for the game itself. Ohio has always been a strong battleship, so the fact that one of the strongest battleships of Tier 10 was locked behind Research Bureau was anemic to me because it locks out a very large amount of players, unless they're willing to grind massive amounts of XP. Like, it's basically like 2.5 million for XP to reset the Harugamo enough times uh, in order to get these ships, or you have to wait like 6 months. And now, with the new meta changes, the Slava is also really good in my opinion. So now two of the best ships in Tier 10 are locked behind Research Bureau. I mean, look at that. That was a 30,000 damage shot in which I hit 9 out of 9 shells at 24 kilometers on an enemy battleship. That is baffling to me. This wasn't my Slava experience before. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I had absolutely hidden 
or hit good shots before patch 10.0 but never more than one or two in a game but with new slava i'm hitting a lot <laughs> Uh, well, maybe not that shot right there. Ignore that one. But, I mean, what? I've already smacked around both Thunderers on the enemy team and the Des Moines. So that's three really good shots I've hit. And uh, this game is just getting started. <laughs> uh, there's going to be several more that happen. And I don't know if I said it earlier, if this was a different recording I scrapped. But uh, this is actually my damage record in the Slava, this game. So, Yeah. A ship that I've owned for several months, and then new meta changes, and all of a sudden I'm setting new damage records in it. And honestly, I think if I keep going with this boat some more, which I probably will, uh, then I'll be breaking more of my own personal bests with it. And I think one thing that I should probably cover is that Wargaming didn't change the Slava in any way. If you read the patch notes, uh, they usually make a dev blog on the balance changes, but it's also in the patch notes as well. But the Slava itself was not buffed or nerfed in any way, shape, or form. This is purely to do with the new Deadeye meta that has been created with patch 10.0. And I will link a forum post uh, in the description below. Um, but basically, of the battleships that can effectively use Deadeye, or actually any battleship in the game. The battleship that benefits at tier 10 the most from Deadeye is actually the Slava. Uh, because of how consistently accurate the Slava is and how little dispersion it loses at range, uh, basically Deadeye is having the most impact. It's essentially the same dispersion as if you were shooting at a ship four kilometers closer to you. So this Thunder, who is roughly 20 kilometers away the dispersion is going to be as if he was 16 kilometers away and it kind of leads to shots like this uh where you just can do you know a little disgusting amount of damage now that's always kind of been the slava strength though was consistency through dispersion so yes dead eye makes the slava more consistent true but it doesn't make it outlandishly consistent right but what it does do is it forces everyone who could hurt you further away when everybody is trying to camp in the back and snipe because they really don't have a choice at doing so the slava can benefit from this massively first off Yes, it has the guns to hurt people at those ranges, whereas they usually don't have the guns to hurt it, unless they get overmatched. Like a Yamato can certainly hurt the Slava, but that's, you know, more of the exception, not the rule. On top of that, HE spammers have to sit further away, which means that they can't be as effective against Slava. So the armor weaknesses of the Slava get mitigated, because the Slava now has all of its targets sitting further away from it. Because cruisers can't push in as effectively as they could before. Because battleships are much more accurate than they used to be. And battleships also can't push in. Uh, because other ships shooting at them are much more effective. So, <laughs> uh, it is it is quite literally the perfect meta for the Slava. And, and somebody, uh, somebody made a meme about this. But basically, patch 10.0 was created with Deadeye in mind <laughs> as a meme because Wargaming didn't sell enough Slavas, <laughs> which I think is funny and obviously a joke, but I mean, the games that I've been putting up are crazy. I played four games of Slava on stream yesterday. I averaged 225,000 damage. Keep in mind, this is a ship that I shoot 95% uh, armor piercing out of, which means that the damage is typically lower. Uh, than something like, say, a Conqueror or a Thunderer, because those tend to shoot more high explosive, which racks up fire damage. Outright alpha damage is always more important than dot damage, and usually scores less. So, when I'm doing that much with an AP-focused battleship, you know that something is wrong. And I was never doing that before with the Slava. I only average, I think, 130k with this boat. And that's after, like, 50 games uh, prior to patch 10.0. So... 
Yeah, and, and now granted, I, I know the argument there is that four games isn't enough of a sample size, which I totally agree, and that's why I will continue to play more sh uh, more games with this boat, uh, just to see how it is going forward. But right now, it is the meta-defining battleship, in my opinion, uh, other than, say, maybe a Thunderer or a Conqueror. But in terms of long-range AP sniping, well, yeah, that's really good at it. Now... In terms of long-range HE sniping, I don't think the Wooster <laughs> is the ship for it. Which is, I, I kind of chuckle because I see this guy is in a Wooster 17 kilometers away. He's running range Wooster, by the way, and he's trying to snipe at me. Maybe as a spotter plane, but I highly doubt it. And you can kind of see that the enemy team is trying to move in a little bit more. Uh, and this is what I was saying at the beginning of the game. The early sniping phase of World of Warships, when everybody's moving from their spawn and they're branching out towards the flanks and towards the islands that they want to work towards, that's when the Slava gets its best shots and best opportunities. But with the new meta right now, that early sniping phase seems to last well over 10 minutes before people can actually do anything. So we have a Kremlin pushed up. The Yamato is kind of pushing up, but he is bow in, so I can't really hurt him. And have you noticed, I'm not actually taking those 25 kilometer shots anymore. And my damage will fall off considerably. But I've already done 250k. <laughs> so I've already done quite a massive amount. Now one thing I actually never have mentioned about the Slava, I do mention it on stream occasionally, uh, is the Slava is disgustingly good against destroyers. Uh, the shell velocity with the shell grouping allows you to do shots like that quite often. And even though that was just armor piercing, that's still over 6,000 damage. The shells hit for 1,200 a pop, so five shells equals 6K. And that's a significant amount of a destroyer's health bar. Now, if I had HE loaded there, it could have potentially been better. <laughs> oh, hold on, free broadside? <laughs> I, uh, I remember watching this shot on stream and I said, that's not gonna kill him. <laughs> it leaves him on 1,000 health. Uh, there you go. 280,000 damage. And don't get me wrong. Uh, this isn't exactly my video of glowing endorsement of the Slava. I, and it is, but it isn't. I, I absolutely think that the boat is strong now. I do. And if you guys get it, you're doing yourself a favor. I mean, look at this. Look at that Wooster. He stands. No chance against that. Right? So... If you guys have the ability to go through Research Bureau and you're considering getting the Slava, I hope this helps you make a choice. That's what this video is really about. Maybe I'll review the Ohio, which I always loved but did take some hits with this new patch. But I, I think this video is more just kind of to, to highlight uh, a lot of the issues that I went over in my last video that this most recent patch didn't help World of Warships. Because a ship that primarily focuses on doing what this boat does, which is just take pot shots to farm damage, never pushes an objective, never tanks damage for a cruiser, is not exactly a healthy boat for the game. Which is why, even though I never considered the Slava a strong ship before, I didn't like the ship being put in the game because of what it represented. And now that the ship is incredibly strong, I would imagine that, well, more people are probably going to actively seek it out, or the people that already got it and then didn't like it because it honestly wasn't that good, are probably going to be playing it a little bit more once they realize how powerful it is in this new meta. And I think that just makes World of Warships even more passive than it already is. Which isn't exactly a good thing. Now, this is... Uh, almost at the very top end of the damage. I'm going to get like 4,000 more. It's a 331k game. Unfortunately, my team is all kind of dead. And they're just going to basically play out the time on this. And we're not going to be able to do anything. Because all of our destroyers will go down soon. Which is unfortunate because, well, when you're getting those super crazy high damage games, you want them to be the best possible games you can get. But unfortunately, this is not the case. I, I did actually end up checking the damage on this game afterwards. It was the ninth highest Slava damage game on the NA server at the time, which is all right. 
it's not the best. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dare to claim that. That guy got 392k, which to me is insane. But hey, maybe he's got this boat figured out a hell of a lot more than I do. But yeah, I don't know. This ship is the exact opposite of where I want World of Warships to go. And the fact that I did so well with it yesterday kind of tells me that, well, maybe World of Warships just really wants to take itself in a direction that isn't meant for me, which is, which kind of sucks. Uh, I've been playing a lot of lower tiers lately because I actually think that, and now keep in mind, when I say lower tiers, I mean anything tier six, seven, and eight, but I've been playing a lot of those lower tier ships lately and kind of enjoying them. Uh, so do expect more videos coming out in the future on ships like those. Uh, possibly the Roma. Definitely a Florida review coming up next. Uh, I think I have the footage for that. But yeah, Slav is strong. Definitely recommend it, guys. Uh, and that was it. The game will get pointed out from here. Actually, I, th I think we're just going to run out on time. Uh, the enemy team isn't really going to try to fight at this point. So unfortunate loss, but still. I mean, you can see the, the power that this ship has right now through this video and hopefully you know it helps you guys choose what you want to do going forward in the research bureau but uh other than that guys take care i'm out uh, i'll leave a link down below to that forum post i mentioned earlier as well as if you guys want to check out the live stream that's where i make the majority of my content uh down over at twitch so uh yeah like or dislike subscribe have a good one i'm out take care